Yo, what up, hey, how you doing, guys? My name is Sanchez. Today, we're back with another video where I'm going to be taking you guys vintage shopping with me in Blitz. I'm heading off to LA on Sunday, so hopefully, I'm going to come across some bangers that I can bring along with me. And also, there is a piece that they put up on their Instagram yesterday. Oh my god, it is beautiful. It's not for LA, but it is beautiful, and hopefully, I can go nab that. Currently, just past 12. Where you going? It's that way, that way. Okay, okay. Uh, you can't even see me because the sun is shining. We're heading over to Blitz first and then go grab some money. It's been a while since I've been there, so I thought I'd take you guys with me. Oh, look at that double chin game, the strong boy. Green and the cactus plant the market. So dope, but it's got this awful branding in the back. GF, which looks shit. Fellas, this is how you customize your own thing. So you go to the ski section, find a bomb ass jacket with some nice colors. So this one is actually pretty cool. This one's dope, like the colors are awesome. I love this one. This one's sick. It's awesome colors. And this one's just hard. Yeah, take something like that. Even if you don't want to do an arc curve, that's fine. Hold it three quarters. So then you get a nice little crop effect. And boom. That's what it looks like. You don't need sleeve cropped in the body. Play around with it. Add a massive cut at the bottom if you so wish. But that is how you do it, man. I found it, lads. That's pretty much the piece that I came to look for. I saw them tweet this yesterday. So fucking sick and the colours are absolutely amazing. It's the selection so far. This sort of super oversized baggy top says USC football. Then we've got this vintage Adidas quarter zip track top thingy. Then this is a it's already a epic, but these two jackets as well. Red skins, really nice. In the back, more fatty, daddy, daddy, that. And then this one, just for this, to be fair. It is too small, but it's a sick jacket with McDonald's. You're lying to yourself right now? I wish the sleeves were a bit longer. I don't, it just doesn't look right? Yeah, the cut is different, that's what I'm saying. It's not too small, it's just an interesting cut. Oh, just to hear, like, it's already like... Yeah. What the fuck? Exploding. Look at my hand. Huh? Go through here, and then look at my finger. <laughs> what the fuck? This would take like a repair work and a half. Hello. All right, so unfortunately, I only picked up two pieces. There was some nice stuff, but I'm in this weird phase, and I'm often in this weird phase where, I don't know, I just feel like I have too many clothes right now, and I just don't want to buy more pieces. And the only pieces that I always, always end up buying are outerwear. So we've got two pieces of outerwear. Number one, it is this beautiful Redskins varsity, varsity jacket, you could say. I mean, the reason why I picked it up was because obviously I love the leather sleeves, the suede, how tonal it is. I love the various shades of brown, even the way that the, the writing is done with A, the font and also the colors. So we just got Redskins here. And then in the back, it says North Valley Redskins LTD 18th Street. Now, I don't know what it stands for, I don't know what it means. I'm, as far as my understanding goes, I think Redskins, obviously I know the the Native Americans or Red Indians, that side of things, but it's, it's also a um, NFL team, right? Is it NFL? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. It is football, right? Or is it basketball? No, it's football. You've got two pockets at either side, two pockets inside. This is actually a size double XL, so it fits very oversized, very boxy, very big, basically. And that's kind of what I was hoping to achieve with a jacket like this. I don't know, I just feel like this is a very 
European thing to cop just because and we were having this discussion earlier on obviously in the US you probably don't want to see varsity jackets you probably don't want to see any more collegiate looks whereas in Europe or in the UK because we don't come across these sort of things very often we're not forced not forced but we don't have to wear them for school or anything like that I guess there is a sort of attraction towards it moving on to item number two and this was the piece that I actually went to blitz for it is this beautiful just stunning ski jacket from Decente, Decente, I don't know how you pronounce it. Now the first thing that drew me to it, when I saw it on the pictures when Blitz first posted it, were the colours and man, I'm not joking, this piece looks so much better in person. I think the video might be able to grasp it a bit. It has this sort of iridescent vibe to it. You've got this beautiful blue and then this greeny with hints of blue as well but predominantly greeny colors when i first saw it i was like okay this would be an awesome piece to customize like my north face jacket whether that is to crop it whether that is to c-shape curb it it would be a dope project but then i tried it on it fits quite short as it is so i'm not i'm not even sure if i need to do that it's something that i might play around with but for the time being i think i'm going to leave it as it is so many amazing details also one thing that got me gassed was the fact that the Shente are the official suppliers of ski jackets for the swiss ski team so that's cool and i'm getting skiing in switzerland in two months, I think, in March, hopefully, there's snow, because apparently snow is, is a bit low. I don't know, I think when I first came across this piece, it kind of gave me this strong retro or slash vintage vibe to it, but there is an element of streetwear in there, which I really love, like, I don't know whether it's the colours, or I don't know whether it's how everything is combined together, the blues, the greens, the gold, it looks very streetwear, I think this is such an awesome piece, I'm fairly confident that, well, A, I'd like to keep this piece for a while, but B, I know that when I do get bored of it, or when I want to, to pass it along, I could definitely either make my money back, or, or sell it for more, so those are the sort of pieces that you really want when you go vintage shopping, buy smart, and yeah, you should be able to make your money back in a couple of years. I think this is such an awesome piece, man. I love it. So sick. Look at it. It's dope. Gassed. Good job, Sanj. You said you wanted to go vintage shopping to go cop some stuff for LA. You come out with two pieces of outerwear. One's a massive leather jacket, which you're definitely not going to bring. And the other one's a ski jacket. It is what it is. Sometimes you don't necessarily stick to your plans. What else did I film? Oh, there was a USC top, which I really loved. But I didn't want to wear a USC top whilst in LA. Not that anybody would mistake me for a American football player. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm going to end it here. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here. S-A-N-G-I-E-V, that'll be my snaps, my Twitter, my Instagram. I'll be sure to post the fit pic on there prior to even showing you guys on the YouTube, just because the next time I'm gonna be wearing this will be after I'm back from LA, and so that'll be quite a long while away. That is that from me. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.